Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marcy, and in this video, we are making this cottage core rustic kind of air dry clay decor. I am going to use mine to put one of my favorite plant pots in it. So I want it to be rustic and uneven and fun, and this is what it ended up looking like. I'm gonna show you in a really quick video how to do it. But all my inspo came from Jana's channel. We did a call up together. I'll link to those videos down below. But I hope you like it and I really hope that you give this a try. It's really easy, fun, and very affordable. So you get your clay out, then you roll it. And after you have it in a rustic kind of pattern way, um, at least that's how I wanted it, I measured that it will be, you know, in a cool shape, kind of lower on one side and taller in the other side. And I started placing my little leaves. These are very textured, so the thicker the texture, the better, because we're going to leave an imprint, but we're also going to use them to mask um, our clay. And then I took just this little jar to like press on them and now I'm taking pepper and I'm just rolling it and getting it all over the place, like really cover the piece because I didn't want it to go in the leaves but I want it to be really dark around them or really rustic. This is going to give it sort of like a stone texture and it looks pretty cool when, once it dries as you saw at the beginning. And now I'm just rolling it making sure it gets really in there. I'm not pressing too much, but I am um, applying some pressure. So, and then I'm gonna flip it like a little pancake and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna do a lot, a lot of pepper. Don't worry, you're gonna just rub it whenever it dries and some of them will fall off and that's what give it the really cool texture. Now I'm taking a bit of coffee and when you work with coffee, make sure it's instant coffee and not grounded coffee. Um, they work differently. So what I want from the coffee is to leave kind of like a different color on my clay, but also, you know, leave the little pattern. Well, not pattern, but like the imprint in it. So this is going to give it like an old rustic texture. And you see as I roll it, then it starts turning brown in some spots and in others it's not which is what I want because as m the more moisture is got, the better brownish color you'll get. I wouldn't recommend spraying water on this because it will get really sticky and gross. But um, now I flipped it and I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Just to get that color around my leaves and not in the leaves, you're going to see the difference from the inside and the outside. Um, when you're done with your project so and then I'm taking my roller again and trying to get that color in there you can see on the left that it's kind of brownish and rustic and cottage core looking now I'm covering my pot with the little plastic film and this is just to protect it so the clay won't stick to it but um, you can use whatever plastic you have in a, even a plastic bag it's just going to leave a bigger imprint on your clay so that's why I use this one it's very easy and affordable and I just put it in the middle and try to kind of wiggle it in the way you want it to go again I wanted it to be higher on one side and lower on the other one and now you just gently press I want the curves on the sides of my project but I want it to be pretty flat on the bottom part so that's why I'm trying to like press it down your hands are going to get dirty, so be, you know, extra fun and specific about your hands. This is going to come off, so don't worry about it. And now it's time to remove the leaves and just put it aside to dry. I just left it, forgot about it for like three to four days, and nothing happened, and it was okay. So, and it's not getting bugs or anything, and then you just, when it's dry, you rub it a little bit, and all the pepper, the extra one, is going to fall off. This is how it looks when it's wet. Don't worry, it's not going to attract bugs or anything. And your pretty hands say hello. <laughs> but it's fun and it's really cool. Then you just apply acrylic varnish. This one is the one that I use. It needs to be spray on so that it really works. And that's it. This non-yellowing one, it's the one that I've been using for a long time and I really like it. 
So I put my little Pelia plant in it and I think it looks pretty cool. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you've done differently or if you've done something like this. You can also make so many projects with this technique, not just a rustic cottage cord look. But yeah, just let me know below what you would, what you would have done differently. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.